In this video I will be showing you the approach taken when modeling a heat recovery steam generator in Flownex. A heat recovery steam generator is a heat exchanger that recovers heat from a hot gas stream. It produces steam that can be used in a process or to drive a steam turbine. And I will show you how we can use Flownex to simulate the cold startup of such a system. For this demonstration, I'll only be modeling the high pressure section of the HRSG. The properties of the pipe components and steam drum were based on an HRSG used in a combined cycle power plant. Heat transfer components were used for the modeling of the heat transferred from the gas side to the steam side, and the flow resistance components were used to model the valve downstream of the drum and to represent a turbine downstream of the superheater. The economizer, evaporator and superheater were modeled separately by specifying boundary conditions upstream and downstream of the inlets and outlets. Uh, this was done in order to simplify the model so that the Flonex designer tool could easily converge. The designer was used in order to determine the gas side heat transfer coefficients upstream of the heat transfer element. For the desired steam side temperatures downstream of the heat transfer element. And to achieve a zero energy and mass source on the steam drum. The steam drum was modeled by specifying the pressure and again using the designer tool in Flonix to calculate the quality for a specified drum level. The economizer, evaporator and superheater could now be connected. The flow resistance component upstream of the steam drum was removed and another one was added downstream of the superheater to represent a high pressure turbine. The flow admittance was calculated based on the full load mass flow rate of the steam side. After solving the network steady state the designer was used again to ensure a zero energy source on the steam drum and that the heat transfer coefficients were calculated correctly at full load conditions. Now in order to create our zero load steady state model we simply copied the full load network onto a new drawing page and changed the inlet and outlet boundary conditions of the gas and steam sides accordingly. A new pressure and quality was specified on the steam drum to ensure a zero energy source and the valve downstream of the steam drum was used to ensure a zero mass source in the steam drum by varying the opening of the valve. We could now run the transient simulation by setting up actions under the configurations tab the actions include varying the inlet properties on the gas and steam side as they would during startup as well as the valve opening to control the level of the steam drum. I'm now going to run the transient simulation and we can view the effects of our actions on some graphs. What you're seeing here is the inlet temperatures on the gas and steam side rise as they approach full load and on this graph we can see the same for the gas side and steam side mass flow rates.